Yeah. So when it saw it, it said, oh, there is a danger in that house. So it went and told the chicken. Today, I saw our boss getting a, a, a trap in the house. But the chicken said, of, of course, that's not any, a problem to me. That's your problem. That trap cannot hold me. Then the, the rat again was very anxious. It went to the cow. I saw our boss putting a trap inside. And then the cow said, ah, what is that trap? To? That's nonsense. <laughs> and it was still wondering, who can help? Then it went to, uh, what, what you call this, where, where you eat uh, mutton, uh, pigs, the pig. And the pig said, I'm so fat, what, what are you telling me? And so the rat came back and said, what can I do? Now at night, a snake came in the house, and the trap got the snake. And the snake bit the boss's wife's leg, so she got poison. And she was taken somewhere. Then they said, for the medicine of this lady, you need the soup of a chicken. <laughs> so the doctor prescribed the soup. Now what they did, they looked for the chicken, it was slaughtered, soup was given. For, for the wound to soothe, they need some oil from the pig. So the pig was taken. And then unfortunately she died. And at the funeral, arrangements were made and so many guests came. For the food, a cow was needed. <laughs> And so the cow was slaughtered. What am I saying, my brothers and sisters? The war against corruption cannot be fought by one person. And that's my delight today with the ASCC that you have accepted to come. And we are signing a memorandum of understanding with the entire religious fraternity in this country to fight corruption. We are moving on with the other stakeholders. I'm so delighted to have the media here. And Mr. Kaikai, Kai, thank you for the wonderful remarks that our conscience is numb. And I think it's something we must now work on to ensure that Kenyans are aroused to deal with corruption as a problem that can bring down this country. Big civilizations have fallen because of corruption. Rome, Greece, name them. If you read the history properly, it's corruption that can bring down even the biggest civilization. And so religious leaders have come here to ensure that Kenya does not fall. I want to say this is a new beginning, a new beginning to rewrite the narrative about corruption in this country, to say that it is possible the will of the Kenyan, represented by these religious leaders here and other stakeholders, can be strengthened to remove the scourge of corruption. I'm glad when I joined the ESCC about three months ago, I had to take time to see what culture am I joining. And all of you, media, and all other people are actually screaming with the high voices, you have grace, you have gone into some hyenas. <laughs> How will you survive? And so I had to take time and understood the culture, allow them to understand me, and then together we begin to craft the way forward in handling corruption. I'm very grateful that time has now come for all of us to start that journey. And uh, the religious leaders have understood it so well. The international community has been very supportive. The presence of the representation from the British uh, High Commission, Your Excellencies, thank you for coming. From the American Embassy, Your Excellency who has sent you, thank you for coming. From the Danish Embassy and others who are actually working with us I want to thank you that you are together to ensure that Kenya is freed from this scourge of corruption. Now, I want to thank the technical team.
but help to draft what we are going to sign. And perhaps it is good if they stood up so that we give them a clap, led by Mr. Nyamaya, who was brought to us through Bishop Oginde and the rest. Please just stand wherever you are, from NCK family, from the Muslim. Yes, those people have written something, and that's the thing we shall look at. Why can't we give them a clap? Thank you. Thank you.